welcome to true projects in this video we are going to explain about the project title lightweight detection model rm lfp and yolo for reba counting before diving into the execution let me give you an overview of the project let us first understand what reba is reba short for reinforcing bar is a strong steel rod used to strengthen concrete in constructions it's like adding muscle to concrete structures helping them withstand tension and stay strong reba comes in different sizes and often has ridges or bumps to grip the concrete tightly made from carbon steel it's heated and shaped into rods at very high temperatures this process makes it durable and resistant to rust so it can last for many decades without weakening by reinforcing concrete reba prevents cracks from spreading and keeps the whole project stable and safe so think of reba has the secret ingredient that makes concrete structures last for generations so let me show you what reba is let us open the google so here i am typing reba so here these are the images of reba Reba is nothing but the steel rods which are used during the construction, which are made of carbon. Let's go back to the explanation. So the project centers on creating a new model called RM LFP and YOLO. That is. Reba counting model with lightweight feature pyramid network. You only look once. It incorporates a lightweight backbone network and a feature pyramid network along with the you only look once for counting rebars in industrial environments using deep learning. This model combines a lightweight backbone network, a feature pyramid network, and a specialized loss function to accurately detect and count rebars. It's designed to work efficiently even on devices with limited resources like embedded systems. By doing so, it aims to fulfill the demand for quick, efficient, and precise rebar counting methods in industrial applications. Essentially, it's about developing a smart system that can accurately count steel bars in industrial settings, even on devices with less computing power. The traditional method of counting rebars in construction projects typically involves manual inception and counting by human workers. This process entails visually inspecting sections of the construction site to identify rebars and manually tailing their numbers, often recorded on paper or digitally. For documentation purposes, however, the traditional method is prone to subjectivity, time-consuming, labor-intensive, and lacks scalability. To overcome these challenges of traditional methods, the project proposes a comprehensive system for reba counting in construction images, utilizing various advanced algorithms such as YOLO V4. YOLO VX, MobileNet V2, YOLO V4, RM LF PN YOLO, YOLO V5 X6, YOLO V3, YOLO V7, YOLO V8, Faster RCNN, and SSD algorithms. This system involves data pre processing, algorithm selection, model training, integration, evaluation optimization and deployment all aimed at improving accuracy, efficiency, and scalability in construction projects. The evaluation of the proposed reba counting system includes metrics like precision recall and mean average precision MAP to gauge its accuracy in detecting and counting reba in construction images. Analyzing these metrics helps 
access the system's effectiveness guiding optimization and refinement efforts the implementation of the proposed reba counting system benefits construction stakeholders such as companies engineers architects workers regulatory authorities clients property owners and technology providers by enhancing efficiency accuracy safety compliance project timelines and revenue opportunities to implement this project we need software and hardware requirements hardware requirements of the project are operating system of windows processor of 55 and above ram of 8 gb and above hard disk of 25 gb and above software requirements of the project are application is anaconda primary language is python front end framework is flask back end framework is jupyter notebook database is sqlite 3 front end technology is used in the project are html css javascript and bootstrap 4 algorithms used these are the algorithms built in the project to detect and count rebars from the construction images we have built these algorithms to compare the performance with different evaluation metrics like precision recall and map mean average precision and here the yolo v5 xx model outperformed the other models so let me explain you what yolo v5 xx is yolo v5 xx a variant of the yolo v5 model is chosen for its balance between accuracy and speed optimized architecture for handling high resolution images and parameter efficiency with around 2.4 million parameters yolo v5 xx efficiently identifies small targets like individual rebars while maintaining fast processing making it well suited for accurately detecting and counting rebars in complex construction images aligning with the project's objective now let us execute the project to execute this project first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files so here this is the static folder this folder consists of files related to css javascript and bootstrap this is the templates folder this folder contains all the html pages used in the project it includes files like index.html home.html about.html and more which represent different pages of the website and here these are the data set folders in which the data set is split into train and validation and in the train folder we are having the images folder as well as the labels folder in the images folder we have the reinforcing bar images from the construction site and all these images are used to train the yolo v5 model and in the labels folder we will have files containing annotations or labels for objects in the corresponding images so each label file corresponds to an image file in the images folder providing details about the objects locations and classes within the image these label files often follow the yolo format where each line represents a detected object each line specifies the object's class index followed by its bounding box coordinates normalized to the image dimensions so here let us open the first annotation so here we can see that we are having many labels it means that many rebars are detected from the image so here the first one is the class index followed by the bounding box coordinates so here these are the bounding boxes coordinates which are used to detect the reinforcing bar so these are the annotations for the image which is present in the images folder so let me show you that image so this is the first annotation so this is the image for those annotations so here we can see that many rebars will be detected and those were the annotations now let us close this
so this is the validation folder and in this folder again we have the images folder as well as labels folder so in the images folder we have the images of the reinforcing bar which are used to evaluate the performance of yolo v5 model and in the labels folder we have the labels for those images and here we have the readme.dataset and readme.roboflow text documents and here the yolo v7 yolo v8 each of these folder contains the same images but they are annotated differently because each yolo version requires its own specific type of image annotations for training and testing the models effectively having separate folders helps keep the data set organized and ensures that each yolo version receives the correct annotations it needs to function properly this is app.py file this .py file contains the information related to front end logic it includes code written in python that handles server side operations such as processing user requests interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the html templates this is notebook.ipynb file this is a jupyter notebook file which contains a combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place it allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science this is signup.db file. This file is the database file uses to use the information. First, we need to copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. Here, I'm copying the path. Now, open the Anaconda prompt. Use the cd command followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit enter. This command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path. So, here we can see the code folder path. Now, compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. So here I'm typing python space app.py and hit enter. This command will execute the Python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address localhost which is this and port which is this now copy this local link provided by the flash framework i'm copying the link and paste this copied link into any web browser i usually prefer google chrome and hit enter the home page of the project is displayed in the browser this is the front end built using flash framework if we are a new user we need to register first so click on register button here so here we need to enter all these details to register but i have already registered so click on sign in so here we need to enter the username and the password which are static and then click on login. We have logged in successfully and we are redirected to the prediction page. So here in this project, we will do the detection for the reinforcing bars. So first we need to upload the images of the reinforcing bars, rebars from the construction side. And after uploading the images, the application will detect the rebars and it will also give us the count of the rebar. So now click on choose file to select the images. So here from the train folder of the YOLO V5 data set, I'm selecting this image. Now click on open. So here we can see that the image is loaded. Now click on upload button. So here we can see that 
the reinforcing bars are detected with the red color bounding box and on top of the bounding box it is written as c steel along with the probability score which tells us the confidence level for the detection so here we can see the count that is 1 to 12 so 1 to 12 rebars are detected from this image so we can see the bounding boxes. Let us upload some more images. Click on detection link here. Now click on choose file. So again from the train folder, I'm selecting this image click on open now click on upload button so here we can see that the rebars are detected with red color bounding box and on top of it it is written as steel so here we can see that many reinforcing bars are detected so here we can see the count which is written in blue color and the count here is 172. So this is the count. So 172 rebars are detected. Let us upload some more images. Click on detection link here. Click on choose file. Now let us upload the images from the validation folder. So here I am selecting this image. Click on open. Now click on upload button. So here we can see that the rebars that is reinforcing bars are detected with the red color bounding box. And on top of the bounding box, it is written as steel along with the probability score, which tells us a confidence level for detection. So here we can see the count of the rebars which are detected. So the count is 63. So total 63 reinforcing bars are detected in this image. Let us upload some more images. Click on choose file. Let us upload this image. So here, this is the image which I have uploaded. And here we can see that the rebar, that is the reinforcing bars, are detected with the red color bounding box. And on top of it, it is written as steel along with the probability score, which tells us the confidence level. And here we can see the count that is 45. So total 45 rebars are detected in this image. So in this way, just by uploading the images, we can detect the number of reinforcing bars. Now click on graph link here. So here, this is the precision and recall graph of YOLO. And here we can see steel and all classes. So here on the x-axis, we have the recall score and on the y-axis, we have precision score. And this is the FN score graph of YOLO, FN confidence curve. And here we can see that it represents steel and the all classes. So here we can see the lines. So here on the X axis, we have the confidence score. And on the Y axis, we have the FN score. And this is the confusion matrix of YOLO. And here we have the precision comparison graph 
on the x axis we have precision score and on the y axis we have the algorithm name so precision is a measure of the correctness of positive predictions made by a classifier and here this is the recall comparison graph here on the x axis we have recall score and on the y axis we have algorithm name recall is a measure of the classifier's ability to correctly identify all relevant instances from a data set and here this is the map comparison graph on the x axis we have map score and on the y axis we have algorithm name mean average precision is a metric for evaluating performance of algorithm in object detection it calculates the average precision for each class and then averages these values across all classes providing a comprehensive measure of model performance so here the algorithm which is performing best will be used for prediction now click on log out button here so in this project we have built various yolo models to detect and count reinforcing bars and we have identified yolo v5 x6 has the best performing model thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in for updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.